So our first barbecue of the season and uh, put a, um, one of the barbecue bags that you light and it didn't light or didn't think it lit so I thought well it's been damp because it's been in the shed so I thought I'll put some fuel on it uh, to get it to light and then light the bag and it will go but as I squirted the fuel onto the actual bag um, the bag was alight and the fuel ignited um, it tracks back up the actual the stream to the uh, to the bottle and the flame went into the bottle and the whole bottle exploded in my uh, in my hands um, showered me in f ignited fuel and basically burnt me from head head to toe almost um, t-shirt melted onto us um, my torso was all burnt my head was all burnt uh, I remember flames all around my head I remember Jessica my daughter shouting and screaming did the old drop and roll on gravel which wasn't great and uh, that hurt so still on fire jumped back up ran to the garden hose and uh, put myself out with the garden hose I remember my daughter screaming running at the house and told my daughter to come outside and then basically got the garden hose and put that on to my daughter's leg to cool the burn meanwhile the uh, the neighbours uh, had ran for the, uh, the ambulance whilst uh, we were waiting I saw a helicopter come over and I identified that as the uh, air ambulance helicopter and thought that can't be for me Surely not, but sure enough it was. Paramedics turned up, air ambulance turned up, everyone did a fantastic job. And they took me to the RFVI, where the NHS did a fantastic job. I was fully burned. This arm, you wouldn't recognise it. Blisters, all sorts. Hair was black, face was completely burnt, torso was burnt. And yeah, I mean, you can see the arms recovered well. The Grey North Ambulance can't do without it. It's a fantastic service. A lot of people will be stuck without it.